Fighting games are nothing new. They have been around for decades with Street Fighter and Capcom. But when Mortal Kombat came onto the scene, the ESRB was created, meaning games like Mortal Kombat and more mature games could be sold. With Mortal Kombat becoming popular, people wanted a piece of the pie. Games like Thrill Kill. Thrill Kill is one of the most infamous fighting games for all the wrong reasons, it being violent and gruesome. With Thrill Kill being finished in 1998, it was being ready to be released until EA pulled the plug. See, around that time, Virginia Interactive was being bought up by EA, and when EA became aware of Thrill Kill, they made some censorship to it and then eventually just scrapped it because they wouldn't want to publish something so senselessly violent and they felt like it would hurt their image. But, 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 the game is playable. With the game being fully completed, a lot of the game is still available with different versions being censored and not being censored. It's kind of like Manhunt 2 in that way. The game is kind of like a 3D beat em up where you have to kill the other three players in the room by fighting them, of course. And also, people have a thrill kill, which is basically a fatality. The game has a thrill meter, which you build up by fighting to get a thrill kill and then you hit it on someone and then you repeat until you're, you're the only one left. The plot is about 10 fighters who are banished to hell and whoever wins the battles will be reincarnated with the final boss being Maruka. The characters as you expect are complete degenerates with characters like Cletus the cannibal, Belladonna being a whore who killed her husband, uh, the imp a midget who was a violent government employee, Judas of the formed conjoined twins who looks like this, the tormentor, a once a judge who got the electric chair after he was found guilty of a acquitting criminals in his court so he can torture and kill them. Then there's Oddball, the crazy armless FBI profiler who's permanently in a strain jacket even in hell. And then we have Dr. F, a deranged plastic surgeon. And then the final one I'm gonna talk about is Violet. She's basically only here because she killed the guy who attacked her in, in her dressing room. She's also part of the circus, which will go off, I guess. And the final one is just Kane. He's just basically just a sub boss. He's basically just like the Koro of this game. The game is kind of like Mortal Kombat in a way where it's like once you beat the game, you get their backstory and. Now, like I was mentioning before, there's several different versions, some being censored, some being not being censored, with like one thrill kill being censored where it's basically just Belladonna giving someone head. I wish I was making this shit up, but you can't make this shit up. Now, I felt like thrill kill like, could have been released if it would release later on, since Manhunt and Manhunt 2 are way more violent than this, at least like story-wise. I'm pretty sure it's just down to the timing of it, like, if this would have came out like in 2005 or 2004, I'm pretty sure it would have been successful. This would have released in 1998, which back then the standards were very different to what it is now. Cause Stroko now is kinda tamed, but back then it probably would have been not seen as tamed. Cause this was in the PS1 era, the PS2 wouldn't release until like a couple years after this. But what are my overall thoughts on Thrillco? Well, to put it bluntly, it has not aged well when it comes to gameplay, like it just has not aged well. But that could just be down to the, like back then it probably would have been a blast to play, but now it's just kind of just bland. I hope you enjoyed and bye.